close the chicken run, uh, we're gonna do a little couple different things. So along the bottom, we've got two by sixes that are gonna run along the baseboard. Um, I would give you the exact measurements, but I wasn't very exact when I was putting up the actual post, so each one's gonna be different. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go across the bottom with two by sixes, and then we'll go across the top with two by fours, and then use the um, hardware cloth to enclose the, the whole thing. She's struggling to it's get the... It's gonna be like this, Diana. It's okay. It's okay. Straighten it up as you go in. There you go. <laughs> there you go, a little bit more. Don't stop it with it sticking out. I need a lemonade. Nope, you're eating a bit. Here, I'll do it. Thank you. <laughs> I told you. Got it. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are putting these pieces of wood beams on the poles. Oops. <laughs> yeah, secure. yeah. What happened was these posts right here. They have been here, what, like three months, something like that? No, uh, almost six months now. Almost six months. Well, with the weather, um, these posts, these beams twisted. Here, let me show you. They actually twisted pretty bad. Uh, I guess you can't really see it from the camera, but anyways, it's, it starts straight and it, it twisted. Um, and... Um, Yep, where, oh. Yeah, it twist, these twisted, I don't know how, but when we put the chicken wire, the chicken wire is not going to go straight from post to post because this surface was going to be twisted or bent. And so we are having to put these posts that will keep the chicken wire nice and taut. Okay, and um, the chicken wire will be installed on this piece of wood rather than on this. So we're having to put that on every beam. And JR is measuring the posts, I mean the, the beams and cutting them. And I am screwing them in. He also put the, the wood on top, the beams on top that will hold the roof. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so this is a problem, you know how, because this is like twisted a little bit, yeah. so it's pushing the boards out. This is completely flush on both sides, but this side sticks out more than this side, so when the chicken wire would come, it would come across, and it would kind of like half circle right there, right? Mm -hmm. Which would keep, that, there would be a big gap there. Mm -hmm. 
Not saying that's a big problem because the wood's there to stop anything from like squeezing in, but you have to pay attention when you put these on so that you make sure that there's as little there as possible. Mm -hmm. So now it's flat. Okay. Now the gap is in between the wood and we're not really worried about that. Okay. It literally has been taking us a long time to make this chicken run. Just because things have come up, you know, events and expenditures and you know it takes money well obviously it takes money but it's just like wood is expensive so you know priorities have come up and travel and so it's just taking forever but we need to hurry up we need to get this done quick because these two these uh pullets here they are they're growing up and they're running out of space and so yeah my dilemma uh like i said I don't, I don't know what to do, but like these chickens, these pullets are still eating growing, like the growing medium, the grow food, and they are already eating uh, laying uh, food, laying pellets. So they can't, they can't eat what they're eating. So I can't put them all together in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, um, the adult hens here and I'm going to put the pullets there and there goes my garden. I can't have a garden now. Um, I'm just kidding. I can have a garden. I'm just going to have to buy a lot of netting so I can put my pots somewhere around the yard. But that was supposed to be that section there. It was supposed to be my garden because it was going to be protected against the birds and the squirrels and the bunnies or the rabbits, I mean. But we cannot have these two flocks together until they are ready to eat uh, layer food, which they are 10 weeks. So they still got at least eight or nine more weeks before I can give them layer feed because pullets cannot have layer feed because the increase in protein can damage their kidneys. So until they are 18 weeks old, they can begin to start eating. Uh, the minimum is 18 weeks old and they can start eating layer food. But uh, until then, um, maybe after those eight weeks that they're in there, it'll still be winter. I can probably convert this into my garden then um but yeah we're we're gonna hurry up and, and try to finish this as soon as possible get your shoes before the sun goes down caleb's in the pool that's the only way to keep him entertained so we can work <laughs> giant gaps in there you have to build the frame for the door so that's what I'm doing it's just doubling up this is uh your old or Cynthia's old um what are those raised, raised beds? beds yeah so we took it apart decided to repurpose the two by tens I think those are two by tens as basically a frame for the outside and then I'll add some more support like right here Maybe a little higher than that, and then the rest of this will be built into a door that's similar to the one that's on the current chicken coop. Mm -hmm. So you've put two of those um, beams here, right? Huh? You've put two of them. Yeah. Just so that we also don't run into the same problem that we were going to have with the the four by fours when we put the um, chicken wire. Mm -hmm. The chicken wire can come all the way up to here right and then go all the way out and then the doors there and the same thing on that side if i just put them on the back side there would have been that dip where the door is I'm so tired of cutting wood. <laughs> 
We'll hire a woodcutter. A woodcutter. A woodcutter. <laughs> Let me just put a Craigslist ad out there. Craigslist? A... Who, who uses Craigslist anymore? I need a woodcutter. <laughs> a a woodcutter, dude. Saying that hey. to me. Like a glove. You don't need to drill it. Nah, it, it, it's off though. I gotta hit it with a hammer. <laughs> See, if I hired somebody to do it, I don't think they'd get it that close to being fit. All right, the frame's built. Now I have to build the uh, the door. Um, we're gonna need about well, we have 200 feet of chicken wire, so yeah. hopefully I can make it work with 200 feet. Including the roof? Yeah, that's including the roof. Because once we've got these six foot tall ones, hold on, I guess. Here. Okay, so we have these six foot tall ones, so I'm gonna go. Okay, wait a second. Thank you. So I'm gonna wrap it one time, and once we get to that, Cynthia's gonna have to help me because we're gonna do basically the same thing on the second level, so we'll have an overlap, and then there'll be some that fold down in it for the roof, <laughs> for part of the roof, and then we'll run one string across the top to be able to close in the roof. So that's going to be enough with what we have? I'm hoping if my math was right. 200 feet? We have 200 feet. And I know, I know what a lot of you are probably saying right now. Oh, chicken wire is not good enough to keep the predators out. We know that. We know that. But 200 feet of hard wire cloth is very expensive. And we can't afford that. That's just too expensive. And um, really, we don't this really... Yeah, just, just this chicken wire alone was $300 for, for all of this, you know? And we really don't have predators in this area except for hawks. Hawks are a big predator here. Um, we really don't have any wild dogs or cats. I, I really haven't even seen, I, have, I really haven't even seen any feral cats around here or anything. We don't have coyotes or nothing. So we're really not too worried. We definitely don't have raccoons or any of that stuff here in the desert. <laughs> they, don't, they don't survive here. But we do have hawks. That's the only thing. So we're not too worried about chicken wire. Um, I would be more worried about them going out and uh, uh, free ranging, but we'll figure that out later. All right, so now we're gonna build the door finally. We have put the chicken wire all over. I know it, it looks bad, but we do what we can. And um, this is the door right here. And we're gonna put some more chicken wire maybe right here or just a, a solid wood. I don't know, but. Apparently we're not the only couple that uh, has a problem chewing up our bits because they sell them in packs of 15. Just some design design flaws that we met that I figured out over there is that um, even though we used two by four, I didn't necessarily like double up some of the wood, so it's like it's tilting, and we didn't have like really good um, hinges. So this time we're gonna we're still gonna use two by fours. I'm gonna double up all of it, and we got some industrial strength hinges that we'll show before I put them on.
Okay, so we're adding the hard wire cloth. The only hard wire cloth that we're gonna put on this put? place. <laughs> Onto the door. So, let's do that. Okay, you've also added the hinges. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Good afternoon people so today is a grand day because we finally finished the chicken palace Yay. <laughs> we finally finished the chicken palace. we call it a chicken palace cuz it's pretty big so took it it only took us what like <laughs> a couple <Too> months, months. <laughs> between projects so Tell us more about this chicken palace that I did help you, but mostly you constructed. So it actually turned out being about 500 square feet. Um, it's 10 feet that way, 50 feet this way, right? Um, it's a little expensive, or it could have been a lot more expensive because we ended up going with like chicken wire. But with the amount of chicken wire that we bought alone the chicken wire how much was it almost four hundred dollars almost four hundred dollars like now that's part of the reason why it's been spread out over two and a half months of us doing this it's because we've had to space out if we would have gotten hard wire cloth in that amount it would have been what quite easily twice the amount like eight hundred dollars and we love our chickens but we we don't love them that much okay because <laughs> we really don't have predators in our area except for hawks we do have a lot of hawks which you saw one this morning yeah there was one this morning he was here scoping in the out the chickens yeah and um we really don't have you know dogs or anything like that or coyotes or we don't and, and you know what if it happens if we lose a chicken to a predator then we work on that and we reinforce it but yeah i'm not gonna spend like thousands of dollars on chicken wire or hundreds of dollars on chick on hard wire cloth to save a chicken I can replace and yes these are our pets and we love them but they are replaceable so well, I mean, the, the biggest thing is that the the chickens that we've already had all they've got over there is chicken wire yeah they, they we haven't had a problem they they have been with chicken wire I don't know how many years already and Just well I mean we had chickens here before oh, right. before them we had another set of chickens and it's only chicken wire and no nobody's ever gotten in. Nothing has ever tried to get in. Not saying it won't, it's just... Yeah, not saying it won't, but anyways, we just wanted to address that, that violation, you know, <laughs> putting chicken wire instead of hard wire cloth. So let's go in and check it out. 
So hopefully we don't lock ourselves in because the one thing we forgot to do was uh, add a string. I did drill the hole though. <laughs> but if this closes while we're in there and all of us are in there, um, <laughs> yeah, the video is going to stop and we got to call somebody. <laughs> Hello ladies. And they've already moved in, so. All right, so because we had different layers, I guess, of uh, hardware, I mean, chicken wire, we had to come up with a great way to, to be able to secure it so that the hawks can't get in here. So. And we do have chicken wire, oh, hardware cloth, look, on the door. Yeah, the one spot. <laughs> um, and then there's another video that, that Cynthia posted that actually showed how we built this. There, there's two more improvements that we really need to do. One is as you can see the sun's like really in my eyes. Um, we have put this shade here to help them, but I don't like that right now the only place that you can hook is to the chicken wire, so we'll fix that. And then we have to winterize, the, or we're not going to winterize it, it's already winterized. We have to summarize it later. So right now with winter coming in, we didn't cut the windows in or anything like that because there's plenty of ventilation in here and it's going to start getting cooler. Um, but before next summer, we have to cut in windows so that we can make sure they have maximum airflow during the summer. And Jared's gonna build a roost also. Like they literally just moved in, so they don't, we don't even have the roost done yet. So again, the inside space that they have is um, 10 feet wide. So this is about 10 feet. It's a little bit different in some of the areas, but averaging 10 feet wide and 50 feet long so this is 500 square feet for them this is a what is it six by eight something like that pretty close to it six by eight because these aren't exact but we, we make these as much as, we, as close as we could I had JR do the door pretty wide um, to be able to fit a wheelbarrow in. Um, the other chicken run we have, the door is very narrow so I can't fit a wheelbarrow. But um, I, we literally just moved them in here. They're not, this is not complete. I put some straw here for them but I'm going to put more straw so that the dirt is not um, exposed so much because they used to be cactus here and there's some pine needles and I cleaned the dirt as much as I could but you know and um, we're gonna hang their feeders and their waterers and I'm gonna section uh, I'm gonna separate a section for dust bathing um, I don't want them dust bathing here because I got that's water by the way um, because like I said there's cactus needles they're like hair thin you can barely see them and I don't want them bathing on that area a few times of clearing it out you know after they've lived here for a little bit we can be confident that they don't get anything in their feet we can put pine uh, shavings in here because straw if we don't keep up with this all the research that we've done plus the chickens we've had in the past the straw emits the most amount of smell though so we have to stay with the shavings eventually but yeah yeah, so we'll we'll fix the whole uh, the whole um, bedding situation here on the run, but I do want to section apart just for them for the dust bathing, and we're gonna put some roosting out there, and we're gonna add the chickens that are in that back chicken run. Let's let's take a look at them. We're gonna add uh, these chickens. We have three chickens here. Uh, we're gonna add them in there. And we have the rooster segregated because he's he's become a little too aggressive with me, which he was not aggressive with. And with Caleb, he pecked at him on his hand. He cut him today, and um, he he did a couple of gashes on me too. So um, so yeah, these girls are gonna go in that chicken pen. That brown one right there, that uh, golden laced wind out has not laid one egg and those girls they're all the same age they're probably like 30 weeks old now those two over there are laying eggs every day except for her the rooster was i think the rooster was stressing her out so much she would not allow the rooster to mount her that and she still doesn't and i think she's not laying because she's stressed out the rooster stresses her out so once frank the rooster is gone 
Uh, we'll see if she starts laying again, but that's it. We wanted to show you this, uh, this project that we've been working on for quite a while now. So finally it is done and um, we just have to improve it, uh, finish building the inside of it for them. And, we never cut this off. Uh, we never cut that roll. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell how tired we were when that finished. Yeah, we were so exhausted. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bunch of pair of four-year-olds constructing this must. Just close the holes. Doesn't just matter. close the holes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... So there it is, and I um, hope you enjoy this video, and see you on the next one. Bye.